You got to tear me apart, Lisa. That's Tommy Wiseau in the 2003 movie, The Room. It became a cult classic. In fact, the 2017 movie, The Disaster Artist, was based on The Room. Now Tommy and Greg Sestero have a new project. It's called Best Friends, Volume 2. Tommy and Greg are here. Gentlemen, uh, welcome. Here we go. We've got yet another movie coming out. It's coming out in 20 theaters all at once, right, in, here in Southern California. Yeah, yeah, no, we, uh, we made this film over the past year. Um, mm -hmm. It's our first film since making The Room 15 years ago, and um, it's crazy. I can't wait for people to see it. So this is a, a part two we were talking about earlier. You don't necessarily need to see the part one to get part two, right? Right. Yeah, they're their own, yeah, they're, uh, they're their own singular experience. Now, Tommy, what makes you guys a good combination, a good, a good working team. Well, the Room was 15 years ago, and here right. you are again still working together. Yeah, he's my best friend, so we met at... Uh, we met, yeah, we met 20 years ago in an acting class, acting class. and there was, um, I don't know, there was something about watching Tommy perform that made him interesting. He's got a great sense of humor, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's just one of those things. We worked together on The Room, and I always thought Tommy in the right role, I think, would be really interesting. And mm -hmm. so that's what this movie really is. It's us working together again and, um, and kind of putting Tommy in the right role. And yeah. the right role in this case is as a mortician, which is <laughs> right. very is. interesting. It, yeah, it is. It's also been challenged to work with Greg because, you know, it's just like sort of this process of learning. I always say when you're part of entertainment, you're learning every single day. Mm -hmm. so, so I think the, uh, people will see me in, in different uh, sort of the, uh, who I am, what I, what I can do as an actor, because I've been doing acting for the past 20 years, so mm -hmm. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, he did a lot of research for this part as well. Mm -hmm. like he he yeah. full-on became a mortician. No, I'm just kidding. And no, I heard that you did go Happy to a birthday, morgue and you friend. did actually Spent do that a lot sort of, of research, morgue, right? Yeah. I mean, it's you know part what? of the, the process. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right and uh, and uh, you see, the, 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 it's always like people don't realize act, uh, doing the acting is not just, a, okay, it's just a line. Mm -hmm. What is behind the acting? And that's what, what I always say, you know, do the research, do this. And, and again, it was very challenging. I think everybody did a good job. So people, hopefully people enjoy it. And I'm curious, Tommy, you're also a director as well. So being a director, did that affect your acting as well? Absolutely. Or to receive direction from someone Absolutely. else? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to quote Clint Eastwood, but, but for some reason I want to quote him. He probably will tell you the same thing what I'm telling you, that it is like you sort of have to block yourself. Because mm -hmm. you, you want to, like, if you have a passion for acting or directing, say, okay, I want to see differently. So in, in great case uh, of best friend, I block myself completely. I say, wait a minute, you know, that's not your project. You know, either though yeah. you are connected. So, so it was very challenging. I really enjoy it. So. And you both bring something unique to the table, which makes even the project more exciting to watch and see and, and work on, right? You see creativity is there. So, so that's a uniqueness. And I think the response is, is, was tremendous, right? Yeah, I think people are surprised. You know, we worked really hard on it. We'd spend, we'd rehearse late at night for hours. Tommy mm -hmm. would call me and be like, hey, I should be wearing this if I'm a mortician doing this scene. So <laughs> yeah. it was just cool to try. I'll again, give him you know? five cents. So I'll give him five cents. <laughs> but you guys are a great team. But well, they, the, the room, we wanted to talk about this before we go. Absolutely. You brought me the script, the original script. The script which, does exist. Right, does exist. <laughs> and something you said you were very proud of. The room came out in um, DVD and also Blu ray. Correct. And in this case, it's it's been dubbed into many languages. Yeah, we have five point. different languages like uh, German, Italy, uh, Italian, etc. And I'm very proud of it because this is again thing that we did everything what the industry told us to do. You know what right. I'm saying? So I think that people should should do the research and uh, buy a Blu-ray if you want to. But <laughs> <laughs> and you guys did it your way, and you're being recognized, which was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we 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 want to. I want to say thank you to fans of the room as well. You guys, mm -hmm. but past two years, I noticed that we're very uh, everybody welcome us. When I think, uh, I always say respect equal e equal mm -hmm. success. So uh, I think Hollywood. Finally got it, you know, that we are here. So I appreciate we're it. We're glad you came here today. Thank you, Thank gentlemen. You. Thank you guys. Thanks Again, so Best Friends Volume 2 is coming to hundreds of theaters starting June 1st. Uh, so we're going to have more on that in just a bit. For now, we're going to send it back to uh, Sandy.